This is one of the best airports in the world. Welcome to Suvarnabhumi Airport, guys. Welcome to Bangkok. Good morning guys, good morning from Bangkok and exactly from Suvarnabhumi Airport. So today I'm traveling from this airport to Wahin, but the vlog is not about this topic. Today I'm going to give you 10 simple tips. If you follow them, then you are going to save a lot of time and money once you arrive to this airport or maybe when you are leaving from this airport. So it will be very interesting and informative vlog. Let us start it right now. Now, the first mistake that we all make once we arrive to Suvarnabhumi Airport is to start using all the services that are available before even passing the immigration, which means start exchanging money, buying SIM cards before passing the immigration. That's a big mistake because these services that are available there are not the best ones. Once you pass the immigration, here you can exchange money and buy SIM cards. But also here you have to avoid two big mistakes. Now the first one is to exchange money once you go out from the immigration. The services and the rates here are not the best. I have always told you that if you want to exchange money at Suvarnabhumi Airport, you have to go to the base floor, which is behind the public transportation. Now the second thing that you should avoid is to buy useless SIM card packages from the SIM card shops. Yes, if you want to buy SIM cards from these places, choose the package that goes with your trip, which means how long you are staying. Lots of people buy big packages and they are not going to use it because first of all, it's longer than they stay. Second, they don't need that much data. So why to pay that much money if you don't need it? As you can see guys, now I am at the public taxi floor from where you can take the public taxis. Lots of people and tourists complain that there are scams here and I'm gonna tell you how to avoid those scams once you are going to take public taxi. I always explain to you how to take public taxi once you arrive to Suvarnabhumi Airport. So now we are at that floor and once you go out from the exit, just walk to the part where you can choose which kind of taxi to take. So as you can see, you can take large taxis, regular taxis and short distance taxis. So the process is so easy, just take the ticket and look at the number that your public taxi is waiting for you. So how to avoid the scam? My friends, first of all, all these taxis work on meter. So once you show the paper, your ticket, you are going to enter the taxi and start going to your destination. You have to tell where you are going and the taxi directly should turn on the meter. If the taxi don't turn on the meter or give you any specific amount you should pay once you arrive, then just tell them stop and go out of the taxi. That's it, it's so simple. You don't have to make any problems. Go to the taxi, show the ticket, tell your address and they should turn on the meter. If that doesn't happen, then you have to go out from the taxi. So that's simple. Never ever get scammed when you are using public taxi at Suvarnabhumi Airport. So 
So if you arrive to Surunabhumi Airport and you want to travel inside Bangkok, then you can take the taxi. But if you are traveling from this airport to Hua Hin, Ayutthaya, Pattaya, all these places, then it's available at this floor. Let's go inside and check what are the buses, what are the prices, and where you can go from Subornabumi Airport rather than taking a taxi. These buses leave every one hour and the price ranges are from 130 Thai baht to 200 Thai baht depending where you are going. So it's so easy why to take taxis if you can take buses, air conditioned and really nice trip from Suvarnabhumi airport to where you are going. Now that we are at the first floor, let me tell you where you can eat cheap at Suvarnabhumi Airport. Yes, at this airport. As I said, this airport is one of the best airports in the world and you can eat street food at the first floor. Let me go and show you. After that, I'm gonna tell you what are the other options if you don't want to eat street food at Suvarnabhumi Airport. So at the same floor, at the first floor where you can buy bus tickets or maybe take public taxi, if you walk till the end, then you are going to see the option which is called magic food. This is airport street food. Let's go inside and tell you why this is the cheapest place to eat at Suvarnabhumi Airport. Of course, if you want to avoid the expensive choices available at the second floor. So the prices start from 30 baht, 20 baht. You can see how busy is this place. Everyone enjoying street food. And if you are at Suvarnabhumi Airport and you want to eat street food, then this is the place. Now that you know what are the mistakes to avoid once you arrive to Thailand, let us go to the departures floor and tell you what are the things that you should avoid once you are traveling from this airport. Here we are at the departures floor. As you can see, this is one of the check-in counters. So my first advice to you, always check in online and you are going to save a lot of time and stress. So once you are traveling from Suvarnabhumi Airport, always check in online and you are going to save a lot of time and as I said, lots of stress while you are traveling. Now the second thing, if you want to wrap your bag, first of all, remove everything you have to remove from your luggage because as you know, you cannot take batteries or power banks in case you have it in your big luggage. After that, check the weight and after that, you can wrap your bag so that you don't have to pay twice unless you have to take them out and wrap it again. Behind me is the Vat Refund place at Suvarnabhumi Airport and that is at the end of the departures floor. So if you want to refund your Vat, there is an important thing that you have to do at this floor before you pass the immigration. So the process is so simple but so tricky. You are at the airport, you are leaving 
stress, you are in hurry. So you might forget to stamp the yellow paper for the VAT refund. Then the first thing you have to do is to stamp that yellow paper before you pass the immigration. Don't forget that unless you won't take your money back once you are at the duty free zone. So once you have your VAT refund and of course wrap your baggage past the immigration, then it's time to explore the duty-free zone. So here I want to give you an advice if you are exploring or buying things from the duty-free zone at Suvarnabhumi Airport, all the zones inside are the same. So there are lots of zones at the duty-free, A, B, C, D, lots of them. So don't waste your time. All of the duty-frees at these zones are the same. If you want to buy something, buy it from the zone that you are going to departure. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and had an idea about the things that you should avoid once you arrive to this airport or maybe you are leaving from Suvarnabhumi Airport. Now it's time for me to catch my Huahim bus. Thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.